My question is for Senator Gold, the leader of the government in the Senate. And my question, Senator Gold, is about Afghanistan and our obligations to those who are in danger because they worked alongside Canadian forces, Canadian NGOs, Canadian journalists, Canadian activists. And now they are in danger. And Canadians believe that it is our moral imperative to bring them to safety. However, the government's good intentions, and I want to grant the that the government does have good intentions, must be followed through by execution and implementation. And by all accounts, we are failing significantly on that front. Why is the government not taking a leaf out of the Syrian refugee playbook? If there is a key lesson to take forward from our response from that time, then it is this. A deadline serves all parts of the system, political and bureaucratic, to get to the finish line. So when is the government going to outline a detailed plan with timelines to bring Afghan refugees to Canada? Thank you. I'm pleased to answer this in my capacity as government representative in the Senate, and I appreciate it, Senator Ahmadbar, your advance notice of this question. I had made inquiries to the government, but you will not be surprised to know I have not heard back. Uh, but I will, when I do, I will report in timely fan. But I would like to add that uh, to date, the government has approved 9,800 people under the Special Immigration Program, and of this number, more than 3,600 Afghan refugees have already arrived in Canada. And it is, regrettably, in the absence of stable conditions, the ever-changing circumstances abroad uh, re regarding what exit documentation is required at checkpoints and international crossings with third countries, which makes it uh, exceedingly difficult to get Afghan refugees safely out. Government remains committed to welcome 40,000 Afghan refugees to Canada on the strength of our humanitarian resettlement policy. And Paul, Paul. Paul.